All right, Shalom. I would like to say, call her lawyer. How about Shim Hawi Shai? And my Shana Kaba, the Quarium, double honors to the elders. Wash Shalom Kasad Laha Pakya. Peace and mercy to the elect. Now we're going to get into this, uh, this article called The Causes and Risk of Prostate Cancer. And, um, prostate cancer is like the biggest, uh, the biggest thing in America right now so so I'm gonna bring this bring this uh, article out to show you what what causes uh, prostate cancer it says uh, the exact causes of prostate cancer isn't easy to pinpoint but many factors may contribute to its development it say what is prostate cancer? The prostate is a small gland underneath the bladder that only men have. It can cause health problems, especially cancer, later in life. <clears throat> in many cases, the tumor that starts in the prostate grows slowly and causes few problems. In where in in rarer instance instances the cancer cells may be aggressive and spread outside the prostate gland. The earlier cancerous cells are found, the more effective treatment is likely to be. And uh, it says, uh, according to the Urology Care Foundation, prostate cancer is the second most common type of all cancer-related deaths among American men. Beware of prostate cancer and know what the risk factors are. It says, uh, what are the causes of prostate cancer? As with all types of cancer, an exact cause of prostate cancer isn't easy to pinpoint. There are often many factors, but ultimately what leads to the growth of cancerous cells are mutations in your DNA or genetic material. These mutations cause normal cells in your prostate to start growing abnormally. So abnormally is like when you start getting these cancers and then your body is not going to um, function right. That's why I say abnormally. <clears throat> Abnormal or cancerous cells could continue to grow and divide until a tumor develops. In cases of aggressive cancer, the cells may leave the original tumor and spread to other parts of the body. It say in some cases, in some cases, mutations are lead to prostate cancer are in, inherited. If you have a family of history prostate cancer, you're a great greater risk of developing a disease because you may have in inherited damaged DNA so that, that that prostate cancer will um, eradicate your DNA so that 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 cause like sexual function stuff like that approximately five to ten percent of prostate cancer cases are caused by inherited mutations according to the American Cancer Society on such mutations is known as the hair 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 tarity prostate cancer gene one or HBC one other inherited if you look at the y'all brothers can look that up other inherited mutations such as BRCA one or BRCA two may also lead to a greater risk of developing prostate cancer what are the risk fast factors the risk factors are this is a good one the risk the risk factor the risk the risk salakia the risk factors are life circumstances that increase your odds of having prostate cancer for instance having family history of disease is a risk fast factor <clears throat> like most jakes most people they be like uh oh it's a family tradition no it goes back to your Goes back to your family not taking care of yourself, not taking care of yourself, and not eating right. 
So they say a family, a fucking family tradition, which is a good thing. Oh, it's a family tradition, you know. Nah, y'all ain't eating right. Y'all ain't stabilize your body right, man. Not eating the right foods. Age, that's number one. Of the most telling risk factors for prostate cancer is age. The Prostate Cancer Foundation notes that just one in 10,000 men under the age of 40 would develop prostate cancer. The number jumps to one in 14 of men between the ages of 60 and 69. The majority cases are diagnosed in men over 65. Race. Although the reason not fully understood, race is another risk factor for prostate cancer. Oh, there you go. Right here. That's lucky. Right here. African American men, you Judites, so called Negroes of the nation of Israel, are twice as likely as Caucasian men to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. They're also more likely to be diagnosed at a later stage and to have a poor outlook. Asian men and Latino men have the lowest in in incidence of prostate cancer. Why? Because they eat they because Asian men, which they heathens, which are the heathens, and you have, you know, you have uh you have Asians, that's Jake's too. Cause you know we scattered across the world. You got Latino men, which is the or Northern Kingdom, the Northern tribe. Men have lowest incidence of prostate cancer. Why? Because they eat right. They eat avocados, they eat fruits and vegetables. They eat a lot of um, cayenne pepper stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They they um they actually take care they take care of their diet and stuff. But most Latins they eat a lot of pork. Mostly Jake's too. They eat a lot of pork. That's that's a cause risk of prostate cancer as well. <laughs> diet. Say the diet. It say a high fat diet also seems to be risk factors for prostate cancer. See. Although it may only slightly increase the odds of developing the disease. 